Hi, I'm Peter Kelmstrom of Kelmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk about using sliders for numeric data input on a data card. I've already set up a, a solution here. This is a SharePoint attached form that uh, also has a bunch of questions about uh, employee engagement. So as you see, these are numeric inputs, but I want to make sure that the user has a slider to work with instead. So I'm gonna make this one invisible first, I'm gonna hide that one. Then I'm going to insert a slider. Just add that one there and then unlock and add that, that's fine. And then we're gonna put the max and min on this thing. The max can be a 10 and the min can be one. And the default, the default value can just be the parent default, right? And then I need to make sure that the data card is actually getting its value from this. So first of all, I'm gonna rename the slider. So slider one, actually that's a rather good one because it, this is regarding number one, so that's fine. So we can actually use that. So now on the card, under advanced here, I'm gonna go in and check what it's using. It's using the data card value two. That was the text box that we had before. Instead, I'm gonna use the slider one value and that is actually in numeric format already. So I don't need to get the value from that. I can just remove that thing there. Slide one value. All right, let's try it out before we do it on the, all the other numeric fields. So I'm just gonna publish this to SharePoint now. And once that's published, I'm gonna go back to SharePoint and try it out. So now I'll be creating a new item. And as you see, I have the slider here. I can slide that one. So let's make that, yeah, how to feel about work today. Seven is good. I'm just move to the next one. But I'm gonna kind of save all that. I'm gonna save just like that. And there you see I had a seven. How do you feel about work today? So the slider does work. Now I just need to modify that on all of the other numeric columns where I wanna have a slider. But that illustrates my point how to do it. You hide or remove the default input you put a slider and then you connect it and that's how it works. One thing though that I want to change is this default. As you see uh, on a text box the, um, that the default empty works well, but with a slider that doesn't really work. So the parent default, of course, on a new SharePoint item is going to be null. So instead I'm going to leave it at uh, five, the standard or center value there. Uh, and of course, a psychologist or an HR person will tell you that that's not a good way to build a form because most people will go with the default value. But that's kind of the price you're paying for using a slider because the slider does not have an empty state. It has to be somewhere, otherwise the UI doesn't show up there. To um, modify this on all the other 20 or so questions I have here, I'm just gonna copy that and go to the next one. To show that one in the UI, I'm gonna press Alt and move the next one. So there I have that one visible. And then I can select the card, paste in, and unlock and add, that's fine. There we go, and now I have all the same values there, and as you see, that's slider one one. Let's rename that one to slider two. And then we do the same change in the data card on the advanced. And just do slider two. And then I would repeat that process for each and every one. I don't really have a quick solution for doing it on all of them, so I'm not gonna bore you with doing a long video showing all the same things, but yeah, just repeat this for all of the items that you want to have it for. So what I did show in this demo was how to replace the default text input with a slider in a SharePoint-driven Canvas app. Thank you for watching this demonstration.